Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be looking at kick and more kick. And we're going to show you how to mix them properly, how to uh, make sure it fits well in the mix with Blue Cat's audio equipment. All right, so check it out. We're going to insert here some EQs. So first thing we got to do is um, set up a pocket. All right, there we go. So two EQs, got the line EQ on here on uh, one kick, which sounds like this. And the other kick that sounds like this. Together, they don't really sound that great. So we're gonna make a pocket with this kick right here that I um, am messing around with right now. It has a lot of low information, you can see it here. So we're going to utilize that. We're just gonna take out everything here. I'll just use the knobs. Bam. I'm going to lift this up a bit. I believe this is the EQ I'm using. I hope so. It's not the EQ. Okay, let's try again. So there's still a lot of low information, of course, because it's a kick. There we go. I'm going to lift this up. Maybe lift this up a bit, too. About six decibels. Moving into the next part, let's go back to this EQ. Everything I did to this EQ, let me just close it so I know I'm bringing up the right one. Uh, we gotta do reverse, so let me just reset. All right, take away one, pull down two. I'll pull down two all the way for now, but I'm, I'm probably gonna lift that up a bit, and then uh, you know do something like that. Yes, that's right. Now let's listen. The good thing about uh, graphic EQs is that they're set to a certain frequency, uh, smart frequency, and I can just drop them down and uh, the cut will be pretty, pretty much the same. So it's great for kicks using graphic EQs. And it's wicked that I can see exactly what I'm cutting out, right? Ooh, I like that. I do like this too though. Let's go back to uh, the bottom end, lift up two a bit more. I do like that, I do, I do. Close that, go to this one. You know what, I will lift this one a bit. It's a different sound. Kind of like knocking on the door. Yes. All right, so let's listen to them. Um, this is called creating a pocket. What I do to one thing, I do the opposite to the other, right? So this is my higher end uh, kick drum, and I'm just taking in the middle to the higher end information here, taking out all the lows, and then on my bottom end, I'm lifting up the lows, and I'm taking out all of my top information, all right? This is very important for mixing, okay? Um, let me show you guys what this sounds like. So this is my bottom end. Sounds alright, you know, hip hop, sounds okay. Uh, this is my top end. Doesn't sound too good. Um, so together, it sounds perfect. Hey, alright, alright, cool. Um, some other things we can do to this kick now is add a compressor to, I like adding compressors to the bottom end. Let's look for dynamic section here. Yes. All right, take off the auto gain, 100% wet. My threshold, I'll probably put it around 35, and then do slight uh, bend there with the ratio. Let me make the knee slightly curved out, All right? And now we'll turn up the gain a bit. Yeah, really punchy. Distortion in Pro Tools. Uh, we can also add another one here too, uh, to the top end of uh, my kick drum. Let's do the same thing. Take off the auto gain. Make sure 100%. Okay, threshold. Same thing. Yeah. 
maybe even lower actually. Maybe less threshold. Break down again. Yes. Okay. Now some really cool tricks for kicks. All right. I'm gonna show you one thing here. We're gonna bring out the mixer. All right. So I have the MV7 mixer out, and check this out. This is gonna be some cool stuff here. This is for the top end, right? I want to do this for the top end stuff. All right. So check it out. I'm gonna add. Should I add more? No, I'll just change the crossover. Check this out. So I can control the volumes and stuff like that, right? But that's not really what I plan to do. I want to set some, some stuff here. Give me a little bit of ear candy here. I'll leave the, the mid stuff there. Pan it up a bit like that. Sounds cool. Yes. Now, it sounds really ugly like that. As soon as you add this middle one in, hey, hey, the mix is like totally affected, right? Change it just a bit. Yes, a little bit of ear candy. And when you play it in the song, oops. Start from the beginning. Hey, hey. Okay. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys use. The graphic EQ, line uh, EQ5 to do your separation, right? Then you use the compressor, tighten everything up. And then if you want, you can furthermore use the MV7 mixer to give it some ear candy for the kick drum, right? Because if you mess around with the lower end information, you're going to get some weird phase issues with the kick and maybe some other things, right? So having the MV7 mixer, you can mess around with the top end stuff and then split that instead. I'm Dandy from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!